ah la la. Tab to complete your editing and there we have our flooring. You know what, let's add some concrete shading as well. Add external style, then shift F to... F I can't flip this. Oh no. Okay, so we've managed to draw walls and slabs and then windows and doors and you may notice that I have styles which you do not. The reason for this is because I used the library file which contained a lot more windows and I just carried on with placing them. The files are all provided on console-bim.com, go to the Blender BIM add-on course and the relevant tutorial, so for windows and doors, the end of tutorial file is available to download here. So I'll start with some parquet for this dressing room here. I'll toggle the generic BIM tool, then here I'll launch the type manager and I'll search for covering. This is okay, then I'll click on create new type and I'll choose flooring. Then the type template will be horizontal layers and I'm gonna name this flooring01, save new type. Now I can simply press on add flooring and this will add it here. However, it is at the same level as my slab thickness, so I'll press GZ and probably change the layers. I'll go to the scene properties, geometry and materials, edit. I'll change the current material layer to wood. I don't have any wood. Okay, now let me use this here. Parquet, save changes. The thickness is only 0 0.03. Save changes. And I'll add a layer of cement, so I need some screed as well. So I'll add a layer here of screed. And this will be 0 0.07, save changes. Accept. I can go to my viewport shading and I'll remove the scene world and the scene lights. And here I'll go to material properties. And this is called default 001 for some reason. It just didn't update correctly its name, but it should be parquet. It's okay. We'll add a style and we'll turn it orangey. Yeah, let's make it brown. And now we'll also add an external style and I'll provide the files also in the same website I showed you earlier. So add external style under wood, wood, I'll choose the data block materials, yeah. Then we need the parquet, browse external style and I can hit refresh, nope, external, there we go. The scaling seems odd but it's okay. Press GZ, edit this. I will go into edge mode, we'll select that, GX, GX, no, GX, GY. Let me get out of this render view mode. Top view, select this, GY. Tab to complete your editing and there we have our flooring. Now I can duplicate this here, press edit and continue editing. Then with this edge selected, vertex mode, I'll press control R and add one point. Oops, I needed another point. I'll just cut it here. Okay, tab. And there we go, we have flooring there and there. Let's look at this. Magnificent. I've duplicated this covering. I'll just move it here. I'll go to object, mirror, X local, GY. Next. 
tab. This is starting to look really nice. Now I'm going to open the same file again. Okay, let's have a peek. The first problem is that it seems we can actually use that blender mirroring thingy. So I'll press tab. There we go. And now looking back in our viewport shade and this looks nice and neat. Ah la la. You know what? Let's add some concrete shading as well. Add external style. Procedural rough concrete. Refresh. Oh my goodness. And our windows need some transparency. Use no no. Use nodes on the glass. Control Z. Use nodes on the glass. Alpha. Whoopla. This is starting to shape up, isn't it? All right, let's carry on. Now we'll draw some wall finishes, and it's no different to these coverings. Let's toggle the type manager, press on create new type, and this time it'll be user defined. Type template we'll use vertical layers, and we'll name this wall finish 01. Save new type. Put my cursor there, then I'll make sure I have my painting and I'll press add. Now this is too thick, so let's change this scene properties, geometry and materials, edit, thickness will be 0 0.01. This should be plaster and painting, so we'll create the material. Painting, save changes. Hit Shift R to rotate this. GZ, GX, GX again. Shift E to extend. Let's look at the active tool. The height is too big. Select first my covering, then my slab and hit Shift E. Oops. Do I have two coverings here? Yeah. Shift D, then Shift F to. F I can't flip this. Oh no. Shift D, Shift R, Shift E. No. Nope. This and that. Shift T. I have a lot of coverings. I'll delete this. Take this and that, Shift T. Then this one needs to be a bit smaller for me to correctly extend it up to there. And now, as you can see, I'm covering. Um, maybe I can have a viewport shading for my bricks so I can distinguish this. For that, I'll temporarily go to object materials here. And for my brick, I'll choose shading and I put it down there like this, maybe a bit more yellow-ish, orange. Save current shading style. Now whenever I cover this, it looks better. GX. Now I hit my window, I have two choices, either trace this out or just extend up to here and then apply a void. When I apply this void to my covering, I can edit the voids by hitting Alt-O. 
then when I select my void and press tab, I should have a square that comes back. Then I'll select this x-ray mode to better see my window. And tab should save, yes. Remove the x-ray mode. Then apply void, yeah. And this looks quite neat. 